Bonjour and aloha, Bemminster Bobcats. This is Drew Mulford with your Bobcat Blaze News. Today is Friday, October 8th, 2021. We hope you are enjoying Hello Week. This is how you say hello in sign language. Now here is Alex with your with the Friday Funny. Thanks, Drew. Which monster makes the best dance partner? Which, Which one? one? The Boogeyman. <laughs> Now here's Mrs. Swanson with Math Masters. Welcome Mrs. Leatherman's class with a few tricks and tips in beating extra math. Hey, are you working on extra math each day or do you still have some facts to learn? Well, here's a trick on beating extra math. These gray ones could use some practice. Make yourself a few flashcards to practice over and over again. Practice those cards whenever you have a minute. The next time you're on extra math, you'll be sure to rock it. Hi, I'm Caden. We would like to wish a, a special Bobcat happy birthday to Matthew Cordillo in Mrs. Simonson's class. I hope you have a great birthday. Now for the weather. Today will be partly cloudy and 77 degrees. Tomorrow will be 70 degrees with a chance of rain. Sunday will be 72 degrees with showers. And Monday will be rainy and 76 degrees. Have a great long weekend. Now here is Naomi with our Takes Pride theme. October is Takes Pride theme is acceptance. When you are accepting others, know you will listen and show respect. An accepting person can also disagree without being unkind to others. Here's a video about acceptance. Howdy students. This is a song about how everyone is special. Let's talk about acceptance. Everyone is different, and that's okay. We come in many colors, sizes, and shapes. And just because you are not exactly like me is never a reason for you to be mean. What should we do? We show acceptance. Everywhere we show acceptance. Because we care, we show acceptance. Near and far, accepting others just the way that they are. That's right. You see, sometimes our patience, it can be fading. Our friends can get on our nerves and even be irritating. But we can be accepting, don't you know? Even towards the people who bother us most. What are we going to do? We show acceptance, everywhere we show acceptance, because we care, we show acceptance, near and far, accepting others just the way that they are. Right on, you see, I could be a boy, or you could be a girl, we could be neighbors, or live in different worlds, but each one of us is special. We're shining stars. We accept everyone just the way that they are. What should we do? We show acceptance. Everywhere we show acceptance. Because we care, we show acceptance. Near and far, accepting others just the way that they are. We show acceptance. Everywhere we show acceptance Because we care we show acceptance Near and far Accepting others just the way that they are That's right! Accept somebody with open arms today! This week's Hello Week question is if you had to change your name, what would your n new name be? 
Here is Miss Bell with the Bobcat Beat to ask a few students what their new names would be. with the Bobcat Beat, and I'm here today with... Reed. Reed. Reed, if you could pick another name, what name would you choose? Ryan. Ryan. Why would you choose the name Ryan? Because I think that's a really cool name. Oh, he likes the name Ryan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ryan. Hello, Bobcats. Once again, it's Mrs. Bell with the Bobcat Beat question of the week. Week one, what's your name? Adeline. Adeline, that's a very pretty name. If your name wasn't Adeline, what would it be? Taco. Taco. Why would your name be Taco? Because I really like tacos. You really like tacos. What's your favorite topping for a taco? <gasps> She'd be lettuce tacos, Bobcats. Have a good one. Hi, it's Mrs. Bell again with the Bobcat Beat. And we're here with? Ella. Ella. Ella, if you could pick any name that's not Ella, what would you pick? Ice cream. Ice cream? Hmm, why would you pick ice cream? Because I like ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. So would you be chocolate ice cream or just ice cream? Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobcats, here's chocolate ice cream. <laughs> All right, Bobcats, now it's your turn. If you could have any other name, what would it be? Hmm, and why? Now here's Mrs. Washam to tell us about the Silver Spoon Award and how our classes can earn it in the cafeteria. Good morning, Bobcats. Mrs. Washam here. I'm so excited. I want to talk to you about our lunchroom and using our Bobcat best behavior there. I have a special reward that we're going to be giving out to each classroom out of the grade each month. This is called our Silver Spoon Award. And you want to think, how do I earn a Silver Spoon Award? And what do I have to show to get it? So to earn the Silver Spoon Award, your whole class needs to show their Bobcat best behavior. So when you're hearing the directions, you're showing your expected behavior, your brain and body is in the group of the person who's doing the announcements, and you're making safe choices by staying in your seat and using a thoughtful, inside voice when you're having lunch. So in order to earn this award, our lunch cafeteria staff, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Hartzell, they're going to have a tracker. And this tracker has each classroom and it says earning points for following Bobcat best behavior all of the time, most of the time, or some of the time. So Mr. Smith and Mrs. Hartzell, they will be in the cafeteria making sure they're taking points of each class. So you'll be hearing more about the prizes that are coming. So showing your Bobcat best behavior in the cafeteria to earn prizes for your Silver Spoon Award. Mrs. Nolan would like to thank some students who donated books to the library in honor of their birthdays. Here they are.
great news. We have reached our $25,000 goal for the race for education. That means Mrs. Washington will turn into a human Sunday. For every $1,000 we raise on top of that, another teacher will become a human Sunday. Maybe it will be your teacher. Keep up the good work, Bobcats. Let's say our Bobcat pledge together. Bobcats believe in ourselves. We don't give up and we always do our best. Remember, Bobcats, be the reason someone smiles today. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Girl Scout Alexis Lloyd and Mr. James's class will lead us in the pledge. Have a great long weekend. Bye. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all.